Good morning everyone. Welcome to a new video of Crypto Michael. Today we're going to discuss some coins that have been retracing the past few days and to see where we can define by the dip strategies. So these three coins will be Elrond, Zilliqa and VeChain. And if you like the content, please like beneath or subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned on the new videos that's coming up. Um, yesterday night I wasn't able to do the live stream. So the new f live stream will be done tonight rather than yesterday night. So we can still uh, keep up with the weekly uh, live streams. All right, first Elrond. We see that we have made a massive overextended move and we can define some support levels on a daily. We might be applying a bearish divergence here. Uh, it's too wide, I guess, to make a, a real case for the divergence as you rather want to see it in this scenario. Um, what are the support levels that we can define? Well, we've got a small one in the green box here or in the red box in this case which is around 130 set we've also got one massive at 90 sets and we've got a previous high which is around this small block here and that's at 66 sets so if you want to get a trade going on the uh, higher time frames you're going to look at these levels so the daily structure is still made around this red block that we just created I'm going to erase it. Why? As the general support level we can structure is found at this block. So you want to see a, on this 4 hour, you want to see support hold here. If we cannot provide support at the 125 sets area, I think we're going to drop further down and then I'm going to look around this block around 90 sets. So what you see is that in the previous upwards movements, we can see that the previous OB is providing support. Here is a support resistance flip. Here we can see another support resistance flip. And the trend shifted through this bearish, re uh, bearish rejection. We see another rejection here in which we were trying to get that higher low going, but we could not get the higher low. And now we can see that we've actually flipped the previous support for resistance initiating further downwards movements so in this case you can see that we are currently making lower highs and there's no you don't need to rush on trades if there is a trend reversal you want to see a clear bullish diff on the lower time frame clear support on the lower time frame and then you can start applying a trade so given that we've seen such a huge move up um, there's two zones that I've been interested in. Okay, so now we got a bearish rejection here. If we get a bottoming structure in this area around 125 sets, I'm going to deploy some smaller ball plays as we can still play a ready towards 170 or 180 sets from here. Or we can even have a ready from here towards the block at 156, which is still a nice slight trade of 22% just like the structure we see here and then from there we're going to move okay so we hold the support we're going to flip levels since then and we get a compression going towards the highs then we can continue so you can start making this trade here you can uh, just play it through taking tp at the first area then add-ons and then at some point you'll be getting stopped out but that's fine you still have made your profits by taking these partial TPs. If we do lose this 126 level, I'm going to look for heavily longs around the 90 set zone, through which we just get a healthy corrective move in which we are doing something like this and then continue moving. Just like I'm, I'm just going to show the chart again. Kyber is doing amazing recently. But you can see that it's also doing a healthy corrective move before it continues to move. And these continuation movements are really, really clear to make. They are really clear. So, for instance, Elrond at this point is trending down. 
but there is uh, there are two levels that I'm watching on Elrond and this uh, lower time frame chart shows that we just did not get that support resistance flip initiating further downwards movements. Elrond USDT probably the same view yes we do have it a support level at 1.2 cent and then after that I'm going to look for the area around 8 tenths of a cent. Then the next coin we got is Zirica. And I first want to have a clean chart so we can, uh, or we don't get a clean chart, then I erase this one. What we see here is the exact same figure as what we saw on KNC and other coins. What we see is a huge move up after breaking 100 day and 200 day MA. Support in this block. After that, a ready upwards towards a previous a support level rejection. And now we are looking at support at this OB. Or we are going to fall further down and then I most likely expect a further drop down towards this area here. But overall we are just ranging. Once you see an upwards move occur, it goes in parabolic wave, then a fast drop down and then starts the acc accumulation or distribution or just compression until the new move starts to occur. So what you then see is that the volume drains away, which is also happening on Zilliqa right now. But we can see some nice plays going to occur. In the group and on social media I've pointed out this block as support. And we currently have that uh, ready for support which is wonderful. So where can we define the resistance levels currently? Well we've got this bullish diff. This is an ideal play for a long. Just like Elrond I want to see that occur. Now you want to see the previous uh, support claim being reclaimed for support again. And then we can start targeting these resistance zones, which is 211, which is 225. And then debatable from how we go from here, we can start looking for support resistance flip, flips and then start targeting the highs around 255, 270. But for now, the entry is gone. You can look for a 191 entry. But if we get a daily structure going, you really want to see um, a support being tested multiple times so in this case you probably get something like this and then after that we get a new wave going so you want to see some more confirmation on higher time frame charts but this block was pointed out as support earlier on and then the next area i'd be heavily interested in silica is 130 sets and then if we get this compression and we get this con continuation pattern going later on in the year you'd be looking for a long to watch potentially the areas around 400 to 500 sets. Then we got a final one which is going to be VeChain in which we can see the exact same thing. Daily time frame we can see that we've got a support level pointed at 159, 153. Let's see if we can find a horizontal level there as well. Yes we can. That's identical. Then on the daily time frame, if we don't get that, we've got a deeper retrace towards the 100 sets block. Then we're going to zoom in on the 4 hour time frame. And then we can see that we've got a support level over here in this block, which we are currently on. So this might be a more, a more or less long entry, not quite favorable as we just lost the support level. But if you want to get some longs, this is the area essentially also given that we've got this previous high coming in if we lose this level you can see that we still have the exact same levels as we did on the daily time frame which is the area around 158 we've got a slight one at 144 but the massive one is here and then i think i've got it here yes so what we see here on the one hour time frame is identical support level which we have been testing now and preferably you want to see um maybe a slight wick down just like silica just did you want to see something like this and then we can see a breaker out of the downtrend and we could see a ready towards any of these highs and again it's still range bound so all these moves are just a lower a lower sizing but it can still be a 20 percent move and if you get stopped out beneath this plan level you make a loss of four to five percent so you have an rr of about three to four is VeChain ready for a next big move? No, it's the exact same figure. You would want to see some more compression and consolidation before a new move occurs. 
So you have to have patience. We do see that on the uh, daily time frame when it started to search, it did make another search, but this is just a construction that you see happening after all at some point in which we may get something like a triangle figure in which we continue more or less we get support resistance flips and then you can start balling them um, over here you can also see that this rejection here initiates further continuation south after already lower highs so VeChain is not looking like it's going to be very uh, very amazing but if you get structure like this we can still target something more than uh, upwards otherwise if we lose it i'm going to look for it around 90 sets or the 125 set so all right that's my update for today i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you tonight again on the live stream